And how is everybody tonight? Ed, we're having salmon patties and aioli bread tonight. So we're gonna start with the bread. So you're just gonna need, it said you can either use a baguette or just like a loaf of French bread, okay? So I just got this, this French bread looks super good. It reminded me it was like almost the size of a baguette, but they didn't have any true baguettes at the grocery store, so I just got this one. So anyway, but so you can use French bread or you can use baguette, whichever. So we're just going to take a knife and I like to use a serrated knife, sorry, when I do bread and we're just gonna cut this bread right in half. Okay. So I'm just gonna put the bread on the cookie sheet I got over here and we're gonna make the dressing for the bread, okay? So the first thing that you're gonna need is a fourth of a cup of mayo. So you're gonna do half or a fourth of a cup of, and this is just for one loaf of bread, okay? So if you needed to do two loaves of bread, then you'd need to double this, all right? So this is just for one loaf of French bread or a baguette. So we got a fourth of a cup of mayo going in, and then two tablespoons of olive oil, okay? So two tablespoons of olive oil, right? So I just got some olive oil in here and some uh, mayo, okay? And then the next thing that you're gonna do is add, let's see, two tablespoons of parsley. Aww. So I'm just gonna guess, I'm just gonna guess at what's about two tablespoons of this. I'm not gonna worry about measuring it because I don't think it'll matter too much if it's not perfect. So that looks about like two tablespoons to me. Good little palmful going in, okay. This sounds really, really good. It's just like another version of some kind of French bread. Just so mincing up some uh, garlic. And I think I might try to smash it with the knife again. It seems to help a little bit. So, so we got parsley, some minced garlic, mayo, and olive oil. And then we're going to do, um, we're going to zest, we're gonna do some lemon zest in here, okay? So lemon zest going in, and then the only two other things were salt and pepper. So you need about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and then just some freshly ground pepper. And I like pepper, so I put quite a bit of pepper in there. And then that is all that goes in this sauce that I found. And then you're just going to, uh, you know, oh. spread it all over the bread. So I got a little bit of a mess right here, sorry. So we're just going to uh, spread all this yumminess all over these, all over this bread. Mm -hmm. Smells really good. The lemon and the parsley yeah, it does and all good. the things. So. All right. So there is the recipe that I found for aioli bread. It looks super pretty. All right. So the first thing that I did, I just want to show you. So the recipe calls for a pound of salmon, okay? And so this one, this one was a little bit bigger than a pound, um, but that's okay, I figured it would be okay. And then you just put some butter, olive oil, uh, garlic, salt, and pepper, and then you cook it in the oven. It said between 10 and 15 minutes or till it was done. And I think this took me in my oven about 12. This was like a pound. It's a little less than a pound and a half. So it took me like 12 minutes in a 425 degree oven. So I did that before we got on. And then um, I also just cooked up in a pan. The recipe calls for onions and peppers. So I did a little bit of butter and a little bit of olive oil and then uh, orange pepper and some onions and sauteed those up till they were nice and translucent and took me about seven minutes. So I did those steps before we got on so we wouldn't have to wait for that. Okay, so what you're gonna do with the fish, you're just gonna, you're just gonna shred the fish, okay? Just gonna shred it. So, okay. 
So I'm just going to grab my bowl right here. And you can also use um, canned salmon. But I just, I thought, why not use fresh? That's what the recipe called for. And then down in the little comments, it says that you could use canned salmon too. So I'm just going to use my fingers. Make sure you don't get any of the skin in there. Anyways, just gonna get all this yummy salmon in the bowl. And then I'm just gonna put this in the trash. Perfect. So I cooked it on the tin foil on the cookie sheet and then just wrapped it in the tin foil and let it cool down. And then it just flaked up super, super nice. So, anyways. Okay. Because I like to give you guys what you want. All right. Okay, so then I'm putting the onions and the peppers in. So, okay, so we have our salmon in here, our, our orange pepper, our onion, and now we need uh, the recipe calls for panko breadcrumbs. I could not find any panko breadcrumbs in my store. So I was just gonna get regular breadcrumbs, but then I saw these uh, Ritz cracker crumbs, <laughs> and I thought, oh my gosh, maybe that would be so good. So you need a cup of breadcrumbs, all right? It said panko, but they didn't have any. So we're just, I thought, I love Ritz crackers, that buttery flavor that they have. So I just thought, oh, I'm just gonna try it. It'll be fine. And then you need two eggs, slightly whipped. So, and then you just need to beat your eggs. Just, so then you're just gonna put the eggs in there. And then uh, you need a fourth of a cup of mayo. <laughs> yeah, it won't kill you. Fourth of a cup of mayo going in so you just need a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce okay Here. anyways it's all good we'll just throw it in there and then the last ingredient is some um, parsley some chopped parsley okay so we're just gonna chop up a little more of this parsley and this is curly parsley you can also use flat leaf don't matter whichever one you got at your store we've been having pretty good weather here lately uh, the recipe says that you can use canned salmon if you want to, but I, whenever you can have fresh, fresh I right. say have fresh. Okay, so that's what I got going on while we heat up our pan. <clears throat> so we're going to put some olive oil and butter in this pan. Okay. okay, so I got some olive oil and some butter in my pan. That's it says good. to do a heaping tablespoon. And then to just pat it out about a half an inch thick. Okay, honey, I do need you to put the bread in for me. Set the timer for 15 minutes. And the recipe says to cook these for like three minutes on each side. So, this is kind of fun. I love to make new things. So we got our first batch in. Who's excited? Who's excited to see Renee's uh, Sam patties? <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to turn on you guys. I'm a little bit nervous. Looks pretty good. Ooh. Okay, I'll let you see this side and then you guys can tell me if they look right here. Yeah, don't get too, I want mine seared whoop, brown whoop. like that. I want the yeah. more well done ones. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> A real authentic around here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna transfer them to this plate right here. So. There we go, Renee's attempt at salmon patties. Okay, then we're just going to cook up the rest of these and wait for the bread and then we're going to try it. Okay, so I got 16, about two, 
16 two inch patties. No, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 14. About two inch round patties and about a half an inch thick. That's what I got out of this the salmon patty. In it. So, here, Gavin, you gotta try it. We gotta go pick up Brennan and Mandy. Okay, you gotta try Maddie, it. Gavin's gonna try, try it. it. Right, come and try a salmon patty. Mm -hmm. Maddox. Are you yeah. Okay, Maddox yeah. is in too. Come around this way. It's guys. actually not bad. Okay, there's ketchup in the <laughs> fridge. You guys, I'm actually like enjoying this. You can't taste the fish too much. Okay, so there's there's our salmon uh, patties. So hard it up for that. I made and this is a good recipe, and I think the Ritz crackers actually make it taste really good. All right, I'm gonna. So, anyways, but yeah, you guys, these turned out good. I think what I would do is make an aioli or a good tartar sauce I think for a good this. Tartar. It's okay, just grab it. We're just gonna pull it out and let you see it. It looks super pretty. Looks it says to good. cook it for um, 15 minutes in a 350 degree oven. So. Um, this is probably in about 12 minutes. Yeah, but it looks really it's, good. It's not crusty brown yet, but. <laughs> Careful. I'm good. But look how pretty mm -hmm. that is. We're gonna cut a piece. Okay. Watch your finger, Dave. Yep. Oh, I think it's done. It's nice and crunchy. You could probably get it a little bit browner, but it's nice and crunchy. Okay. So here it is. Professional tomato diced. So here it is, our aioli bread. You can make a sandwich with a salmon mm -hmm. patty and a... Mm. That might be what I do when we get off. Mm. Oh, my gosh. You guys, this is so good. Ooh, this is delicious. Fresh moths would be good on top. Mm -hmm. Suzanne said, yes. Ooh, the lemon and the parsley and the fruit and the tomato. Mm, it's a Thousand Island dressing. Oh my gosh. How do you try this? I'm gonna put this on the on the blog too. Because this is good. Oh yeah, I like the lemon in it. Mm -hmm. the, and the tomatoes were a really good idea. Oh my gosh. My old wrinkly head. Okay. Success. I love you all. Love this you is all. Renee doing what I love. Bye.